Taryn, if you're new. Um, I know y'all don't see Tina. We usually do a mug bomb together. But today I'm doing this uh, taste testing of uh, Yoko, Yoko's cheese as well as well, Daya. Uh, Tina made me a grilled cheese sandwich using both of the cheeses. So I'm basically doing a taste test for you guys. So you guys can see which one is melts better and which one is taste. So I'm going to cut into the bread. Again, I have uh, Yoko's cheese right here. And I also have Daya. Daya. So I got that Daya cheese. I'm using raw bread. So I'm going to cut it for you guys. She got a grill. She really made it. She really, uh, yeah. She really toasted this. So. I know people always wonder. I also got some soup, so I'm sorry. Got some tomato soup, classic. Tomato soup and grilled cheese. Don't get no better than that. For how old you is, whatever your age is, grilled cheese and tomato soup never get old. Well, not for me at least. But you know, being vegan, sometimes it may be hard for you got for us to find a cheese. So that's what I'm here for. Again, we got some raw bread. You know, I don't really eat um, I eat raw bread and sourdough. You know, comment below what type of bread you guys like. You know, I don't like white bread. I haven't ate white bread for like forever. You know, bleached and wheat bread isn't good for you. So you know, what bread do you guys eat? And if you don't use a cheese that I that I had, what cheese do you guys use? Well, you know, comment below which cheese you use. You know, I try Vio White Cheese, I try uh, Dea, um, Yoko's, um, who else got a cheese? I try, I feel like I try Swarov's cheese too. So right here we have Dea. Let's look at the inside, let me get that better for you guys. Get the Dea cheese right there. Let me see it, and then we got the Yoko's cheese. Let me get that there for you. Yoko's cheese, there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going for the day at first. I'm looking at my super quick. So I guess it's the day one. I'm taking another bite of it without the soup this time. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, for everybody being on quarantine right now, a quick little snack you guys can make for the kids, for yourself. You know. Add a little soup to it. Now, some Yoko's. Oh, I'll try it without the tomato soup and then with the tomato soup. I have like a little aftertaste with um, the Miyoko cheese. A little, um, it's been kind of windy here. The weather be crazy. How about there where y'all live at? You know, comment below where you live at, how the weather's been. To me, it's been abnormal this year. Just like everything else has been. But, um, back to the cheese. Miyoko's, um, it has like a little taste to it. I'm reading it, um, 
And you know, both of these cheese had its pros and cons about it. So I'm definitely going to go into uh, details about that. So reading the um, yogurt cheese is made with oat milk, navy, air, garbanzo beans. You know, um, Tina made a cheese base um, before um, for her mac and cheese using uh, garbanzo beans. Um, I don't really know about using garbanzo beans, but not navy. So it's lactose free, non GMO. Palm oil free, which is good, great, not even not even good, it's great. You know, um, you know, some vegans have issues with palm oil. Is it is palm oil vegan? Is it not vegan? You know, because um, <clears throat> in order for the, in order for them to get palm oil, they have to you know remove animals from their environment. You know, destroy the, their environment just to get the palm oil from the trees. So it's like, would that be vegan? Because you're destroying you know where animals live at. But you're not, you know, harming that. Well, you are harming them because you're taking them from their home. So, soy free and gluten free. So that's for the real goat cheese. And for the bacon, it's dairy free, gluten and soy free. And then you, and for theirs. Mm. So it has its pros and cons. You know, the good thing about this cheese, I'll say the yokos, if maybe you have like um, IBS or things like that, palm oil wouldn't be good for you. If you have like digestive problem, so that cheese, this cheese would be good for you know people. They really can't even have palm oil. Mm. Ryoko. So, <clears throat> for everybody think it's hard to make a real cheese, maybe. And I'm gonna go with Dan. You know, they both got their pros and the cons. For health base, I mean, because the miyoko is not that bad. It's not, it just have a little aftertaste. But other than the aftertaste, you know, the initial taste is good. The initial taste is good. I just decided to do this video because I just joined a new group on Facebook. Speaking of Facebook, if you got Facebook, you know, like my uh, like our Facebook at Peace Love Vegan 420. But I just joined a new vegan group on there, and um, people were talking about like cheeses and stuff like that. Which cheese is good? So I'm gonna make this video and make it a you know traditional meal, grilled cheese with tomato soup. It can be done by vegan. You don't have to lose nothing when you go vegan. Everything you ate when you wasn't. You still eat it. So what have you got you know, comment below what you've been doing since you know you've been quarantined, you can't go out, what have you been doing for like entertainment? I've been really focused on the business. Focus on like a marketing plan, distribution, promotion, everything like that, learning. And you know, it's better in myself. I think people should take time right now, you know, just to really learn themselves. I was reading, um, for everybody that's been following us, you know, I've been, I'm trying to write a book, so I've been learning, reading more about free will. You know, it dates way back, all the way in history, back in the Roman times, you know. And different people had different perspective on free will. You know, some people believe free will exists, some people don't. You know, um, and, and they both had their, I guess, good reason why they believe you know, free will does and doesn't. But, 
most people, I believe, life are, you know, dictated and predetermined, you know, before they even born, even when they're born, you know, so the life that you are living right now, the person that you are, who you are, are you meant to be that person? <clears throat> Was there any, <clears throat> like, external forces that, like, shaped who you are? And if so, it was like, again, are you who you're meant to be? You know, right now, since we have some social distance, distancing, distancing, people should just take time and learn out, learn who they are, you know, find out who they are. Because people think they know who they are and they really don't. So, you know, you could do that by, like, Meditating, that's a new thing that I, I took up. You know, meditating, you know, uh, calming your mind, you know, uh, reading, you know, educating yourself, finding out, um, you know, knowledge is what, what really tells you, um, can really open up, um, open up things for you. Like, for instance, especially in my free will, you can start to look at life different from a different uh, point of view. So, knowledge helps people learn and look at things from a different point of view. Well, take time. Learn vegan. Spain your vegan knowledge. You know, subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed. Follow us on Instagram. Wow. Bro, cheese, never get old. Like I said. Never. I'm kind of like an ex. I don't know why you got like I like a little thing for ex. Oh yeah. For video editing or picture editing, what what apps do you guys use? You know, what do you like recommend? Right now I use um, Filmmaker Pro. There's no superimposed X. Think about making a video. Um, teach people how to like make thumbnails, not vegan related. So that's why I'm kind of like, skeptical about it. I want to stay straight vegan. Mm -hmm. I notice I stayed in the day cheese. Yeah, I'm straight vegan. I haven't even the other half of yoga. We can get into that one, but another thing too. Um, Asaya, she she she's really like she be three April twentieth, same day as my mom. That's one of the reasons why we have um, <clears throat> four twenty at the end of Peace Love Vegan. You know, teen. I mean, because of Asaya, I know my mother, but um, she is so. I know all people say that about the kids, but she is so bright, so smart. So she be watching like kids, um, you know, playing and stuff like that. So, and she really, again, she really understands. So, yesterday we was watching. She knows what we do to, what we do, like, mukbangs and things like that. So, she was watching a little girl, you know, doing mukbang herself. About the, you know, a little bit older than her. But, she was really sitting there watching her. It's the aftertaste. So, my thing is, before she even seen the little girl, I was already thinking about, you know, um, doing a mug bomb, her and I, you know, father doing a mug bomb, and, you know, her doing something herself, you know, her own mug bomb. And, um, just seeing that, even like, all right, validate that she can do it, because she definitely can speak, talk, has a lot to talk for her age. So, um, definitely, um, you want to do that? Have a little, like, a side mug bomb, and, you know, daddy doing a mug bomb. And I think by her doing that, watching it, she kind of a picky eater, but as she was watching the child, which I kind of had that idea already, and she was watching the child eat, she was eating herself. So people that are picky eaters, and they watch other people eat, so it helps them get an appetite, and it's no different for kids, especially them seeing other kids too. It's no difference. Why not? But if you got a picky eater as a kid, don't you worry.
Well, this video is supposed to be just a taste test. To kind of turns into a bug mom. You know, you know, tomato, tomato. Same difference, you know. Same difference. Sorry about being on my phone. <clears throat> Yeah. Everything we say we're gonna do, we do. What we're gonna do. We spoke about getting a green screen. We spoke about getting a ring. We, sp we speak about trying to um, organize a, um, a curriculum for kids to learn in school. Right now, where with the virus going on, it, it's really going to change, you know, society from here on. So maybe we can switch from implementing in schools to just having webinars, a little channel for kids to learn and watch videos on. Um, how to eat and live consciously. You know, Asaya, she, she eats consciously. Um, Christian does as well. So they can be, you know, um, if they want to do videos, not like we're fortunate. They be, they be into it themselves. Like, oh, daddy, I want to record one. So it's like, you already be into it from going to quarantine. Why not? Keep them busy. At the same time, they're learning new skills. So, why not? Okay. Well, again, I'm gonna let you guys go. Mm. It did cheese. Much better. Much better. Just try day. If we don't have day, try live life. It's not a good cheese. I just wanted to compare um, Yoko's to Dea and um, yeah, let you guys see. Check the style. I appreciate you guys for watching this whole video. If you have subscribed, you know, please do. Subscribe, hit that notification button. Let's get this video to 20 likes. So give this video a like. Share it, please. Help us get um, to 1,000 subscribers. If you're trying to get to 1,000, then 10,000, then 100,000, then you know, keep moving forward. So. Help us get there. If you um like the channel, you know support it as, as usual. And I'm about to uh, get out of here. And like I always say, there to be vegan. Peace.